laboratory work number uh, uh, number three uh, from a uh, second part and uh, uh, today we will uh, uh, need to uh, solve a classical liner programming problem uh, which is based on uh, um, firing the best uh, production plan. So according to classical uh, linear programming problem, we have some company which can produce uh, different kinds of products uh, by using for this reason different kind of uh, resources. And uh, um, we want to uh, find such production plan which uh, will increase our profit and that's why we will find the maximum value of our profit and uh, um, by using the system of constraints which is based on our available resources which we need to use to produce one unit of each kind of product and uh, understanding that we can't uh, use more resources than we have. That's why uh, all our linear programming uh, problem, um, we need to uh, write or build mathi mathematically uh, correct. And that's why for this reason we will use uh, some formulas and these formulas um, are related to uh, our uh, three, um, the most important components of uh, each uh, LP problem. And if you remember, we have um, always the first component, it is our objective function. And then we have a system of constraints, it is our second component. And the third component, it is our uh, sign, uh, sign restriction according to our decision variable that they must be always uh, be uh, non-negative. So if we talk about company which produce a different kind of products and we, we want to find um, uh, its uh, maximum uh, profit, it means that we need to use uh, this kind of formulas, whereas that it is our objective function. We want to maximize this function by uh, using what kind of criteria? By profit criteria. And that's why we can see that we will have uh, in our formulas the multiplication between CJs and each kind of of CJs, it will be our uh, profit per one unit of different kind of products, and XJ, it will be our quantity of some uh, products which we can produce. And that's why when we will find the sum of this multiplication, we need to uh, solve our uh, LP problem by finding the maximum value of uh, this kind of objective function. Then when we talk about the second component, we talk about system of constraints, and that's why we talk about that we can't use more resources that we uh, have that uh, is available for us. That's why we use the sign less or equal, and uh, where uh, B it is our available resources, and XJ it is still our quantities of products, and AIJ it is our technological coefficients, which reflect how many each kind of uh, resources we use to produce one unit of uh, each kind of products. Of course, we can um, have another type of restriction, for example, uh, by um, using information about a demand on our pro uh, products. That's why we also will include into our system of constraint and the less our component in each kind of LP problem, it is our um, non-negative restriction by uh, values of our decision variable. So in this kind of uh, our MP, uh, LP model, we need to define such quantities of each kind of uh, products which will um, uh, give us the maximum our profit. So uh, we need to go to our tasks uh, and uh, read information which we have 
to uh, to find the uh, the RLP problem according in this case according to uh, activity of PP PP favorite, which can produce a wide range of uh, different kind of sausages, and we have seventy kind of uh, products uh, in this range. And um, then we need to do uh, the first uh, part of this laboratory work. We uh, will do this uh, first part of this laboratory work today. Uh, we, will, uh, we will need to construct the problem, so we need to um, uh, find the mathematically correct uh, our LP problem according to all information which we will have into our task and the second one we will uh, need to find the optimal production plan according to all this information and according to our mathematical form but we have also uh, the third and the fourth uh, task and we will able to uh, find this uh, task or solve this task only after our next lecture. So today we need to construct, first of all, we need to construct or to build the uh, mathematically correct uh, linear programming problem according to all this information. So first of all, we need to uh, read what kind of information we have about this uh, company fabric. So we um, have uh, 17 uh, products and it will correspond to what kind of symbols uh, from our uh, mathematical, uh, for example, mathematical forms of our LP problem. What do you think? What does it mean if we have uh, 17 products? In our X, maybe. Of course, of course, it is our X. It is X value, why? Because X, J, in our classical linear problem, it is quantity of some goods of our 17 products. So how many uh, access we will have and we need to put into this formulas? X1, X2, X3, 70 access we will input into these formulas, yes? Yes. So if we want to find CJ, where CJ it is our uh, profit per one unit of products, how many CJs we need to define? The 17. Of course, of course, 17. So now we need to do, uh, to go to our information. So we have our costs, which we spend to produce uh, one uh, different kind of these products. We have costs, we know this information according yes. to each R, and we have sales okay. price. So what do you think? How we can define our CJ if CJ, uh, it is our profit? What we need to do? We, we need to uh, from sale prices minus cost. Super, super, yes. We need to uh, minus from sale sale price we need uh, to extract cost and it will be our profit good next information yes. uh, this information uh, will um, help us to uh, form system of constraints because we will talk about our resources so how many resources we need to use to produce our 70 uh, kind of products. It is our five resources, pork meat, cow meat, salo, spices, and some nutritional uh, supplements. So this is our, um, this is our, uh, the most important resources, five resources, which we need to use to produce each kind of products. In our AIJ, it is our technological coefficient, which describe how many each kind of resources we need to use or to produce each kind of products according to um, some 
receipts, yes, technological receipts. Okay, so this is our AIJ, good. But we also know information about available quantity of each our resources. So what we have, we have five resources. So these resources, it is our, this kind of resources, pork, cow meat, salad, spices, and nutritional supplements. We have the same. And we have available quantity. Can we uh, use more pork meat than we have? No. No. That's why when we uh, go uh, up, so we will use what kind of our um, formulas? We will use this formulas to describe uh, that uh, each our available resources, it is our D, yes, it is our D, uh, should be uh, less or equal. So our all spend each kind of products by producing each kind of products, we uh, should use less or equal our available uh, quantity of resources. Good. Mm -hmm. But we have uh, add information, added information, and we need to read this kind of uh, sentence. So, uh, in the manufacture of sausage product, it must be born contrast with consumer. Aha, uh -huh. so uh, it is information about uh, demand, about our contracts uh, with consumer, and uh, it was said that our demand for all kinds of products doesn't exceed uh, 6,000 kilograms. Yes. So what does it mean? What kind of sign we will um, need to use to uh, write this restriction? For all kinds. So X1, X2, X3 and 2, X17. Okay. What does it mean? Does not exceed. It should be less or equal 6,000 kilograms. And also we have um, some information about required quantity of some types, not every, uh, not each kind of products, but some types of products according to agreements. So for example, it is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 products we will uh, need to produce according to required quantity of these products according to our agreements. So what kind of sign we need to use in this situation? If we have some contract with our uh, consumer and in this content we have, for example, this kind of uh, kilogram of delicatessen sausages. What does it mean? It means that we need to produce 320 kilograms, not mm -hmm. less and not more, but equal to this kind of information which we have into our agreements. So now we can go to our uh, Excel file. So, and in this uh, file, what we have? We have all this information. Yes. We have information about cost and price. We have information about cost of each kind of resources according to five resources. We mm -hmm. have our available quantity of each kind of um, uh, resources and uh, in yellow color I mark uh, all um, information which we need to correct by your individual number your individual number uh, in this case it is uh, variant number one is it uh, clear yes so now it is classical pro uh, classical problem about uh, finding optimal production plan 
and we can see that we will have uh, a huge number of axes of our decision variables. We will have 17 uh, x uh, axes, and of course, we can't use graphical method. But what kind of method we can use to uh, find optimal solution uh, such kind of uh, problems? Complex. Simplex method. Oh. Yesterday I were talking about full lecture about simplex algorithm, and I was said that we uh, this kind of method is universal, and we can apply it for different kind of decision variables. It could be seventeen, it could be one hundred. Uh, it could be 200 uh, decision variables. It doesn't matter. So today we also will apply this method, but not in handle way, but by using the function of uh, solver. Uh, we can find uh, solver in Danaya data uh, in this place, poisk решение, solver. In English it is solver, in uh, Russia, it is poisk uh, решение. So uh, this kind of function will uh, help us to uh, find optimal production plan in easy way and very quickly. But uh, to uh, use uh, all this uh, this table of solver, we before need to. Um, uh, put our all data set in a uh, correct mathematical mathematically way and that's why we need to go to other our sheet in excel into solution and we will use such form where we will have our uh, different kind of products it is our uh, information from this data set it is our all our products so what is our uh, each kind of product it is our decision variable so it is our x1 for home x2 for tender sausages x3 for delicatessen sausages and etc so we have uh, x1 x2 to have 17 decision variable which according to the products of our sausages Next step, what we need to do? We need to put our information about sale, price, and cost if we want to define our profit or yep. our coefficient, objective coefficient C. So what we need to do? We need, we need to sell prices uh, minus our cost. Yes, yes. And for this reason, we go to data set to and copy we, yes yes and copy so we have sale price we need to copy but uh, we have a uh, column reflect yes, we can, we but just we can need to transpond yes yes good special stop transponировать yes then we go to the data set and we copy costs also 17 uh, values and also we need to transform good and now what we need to do we need to extract from price our costs and it will be our profit per each unit of our uh, sausages or our um, products yes good and we need to extend this values by all 17 products. Good. What we need to do next? So uh, it's very important what uh, we have in uh, yellow row. In yellow, in yellow row, we will have our optimal uh, quantity of each kind of products which we can produce and we will uh, find it by using solver only solver can help us to fill all this yellow uh, gaps next what we need to do uh, if we uh, 
return to our to our uh, guidelines we need to also define first of all what our objective function it is mm -hmm. our sum of multiplication each kind of objectives uh, objective co coefficients each our profits by quantities of products yes yes c by uh, by x and what we need to do in handle way it means that we need to define what r c multiplied yes. by x because in yellow um, cells we will reflect our quantities of x's yes mm -hmm. and we need to do in handle way such 17 operation but it is not clever and that's why we can use a function of excel sumproisv sumproisv can uh, let us to uh, define sum of multiplication of two kind of masses the first massive it is our set j's and the next massive it is our yellow massive of quantities of each kind of decision variable and we close the brackets and enter good now we have zero why because we don't know uh, what is optimal quantities of each kind of uh, product but we need to define uh, the formulas to find our objective function when we will use our solver or, or, or poise crescenia. It is necessary uh, information which we also will put into poise crescenia. We can uh, probably write that f is equal in uh, short form. It is c multiplied by x. Yes, so it is our objective function c by x and when we, if we and we want to maximize this function yes but before we will uh, start maximize this function we need to go to our data set and use information from our uh, cost of resources cost of five type of resources which we uh, used to produce uh, one kilogram of each kind of products. So for this reason, we again fill uh, fill uh, all this matrix because this is matrix of our what technological coefficients. We copy it, and what we have we have our home tender and and et, et cetera products. Um, into a column but in this um, in this uh, sheet we have all our products in uh, um, uh, rows that's why we need to transpond and next our step is to understand that we can uh, use more resources than we have and that's why we need to uh, find our uh, information about our b so uh, for this reason we need to go again in data set and find this information so we have this information in this table we have that according to each kind of our um, uh, resources we have available quantity according to our variant number one that's why we need to stay into the cells and the put equation is equal to this kind of values and just extend good and if we remember our uh, our uh, word file about how we can define our restriction by using a uh, our available resources we need to use what kind of uh, sign less or equal that's why we need to use less or equal less or equal 
according to all our uh, restriction by resources, less or equal. And then we also need to define um, the uh, multiplication a by x, y, because when we again uh, go to our um, uh, guidelines, we can see that we have b, we have our sign, but we haven't yet uh, this kind of information. So we need to define the sum of multiplication of each R, A, I, J by each kind of products of each R decision variable. So we need, uh, in short, to define A multiplied by X. And for this reason, we need to again use a function sum praisv, sum praisv, where the first massive it will be our a i j, but each kind of our seventeen uh, a i j's coefficients. Then we put uh, next to our massive. Yes, next, our massive, it will be our optimal quantities of each kind of our 17th products. And close the brackets and enter. I need to fix our, mm -hmm. our uh, decision variable by shift, shift four. And you, for this reason, can use uh, F4. So, and now we can check, for example, this, yes. So it is next, our resources, uh, we have, um, okay, next. So according to our task, we have not only this kind of uh, restriction, but we also have restriction by agreement. Uh, we need to produce exact quantity of uh, this kind of product products exact quantity it means that we need uh, we needn't to produce more or less of this quantity we need to produce exact exact quantity of uh, this kind of products what does it mean it means that we will use what kind of sign is equal equal not less or more but equal so now we need to find all these products so Tender sausages, we need mm -hmm. to produce in amount of 202 kilograms. Tender yes. sausages. What does it mean? The, where is tender sausage? It is Rx2. So in this place, we put equal. It means Make that it, uh, it will be tips for us when we will use Poise Crescenie. And according to our information, it is equal. It is two five yes two hundred two. Then next, uh, delicatessen, delicatessen. It is x three, so we put just equation and is equal to this kind of kilograms. Then next, original sausages, original sausages. It is R X seven. Put uh, is equal. And it is equal original sausages, uh, 153. Next, cooked martadel. Cooked martadel again. And it is equal 127. Next, drogobetska. Drogobetska is equal to what kind of information? Uh, 78. Next. And also we have um, the last R restriction um, based on demand for all kinds of products, which doesn't exceed 6,000 kilograms. What does it mean is doesn't exceed? It doesn't mean that less, yes? Less or equal, less or equal, Six uh, kilo, six thousand kilograms. Yes. And we need to extend this uh, restriction for all our seventeen products. So we can produce more than six 
thousand kilograms of each our sausages kind of sausages good so now we have complete our uh, form of lp problems which uh, we can uh, apply by using uh, our solver solver voice решение yes. and uh, what we uh, need to put first it is our uh, objective function where is our uh, objective function is in, on this uh, uh, sheet in this place yellow. yellow yellow it is our formulas when we uh, when we multiply our c j's by x j's then uh, we need to maximize or minimize this function maximize maximize because we talk about profit then we yes. need to change our cells where is our cells which we want to find it is our all this uh, yellow axis x1 to x17 good and then we need to put all our restriction for this reason we go to добавить it add mm -hmm. and we need to put first our restriction by our resources so where is our first resources uh we need yeah. we have all, all these green uh, values it is our b it is our available resources and also we can uh, see our a uh, multiplied by x so uh, we need to uh, correspond uh, a multiplied by x which uh, should uh, which must be less or equal what the first b okay. so it means that we spend some kind of, we, we spend some uh, quantities of our first resources by producing uh, all 70 uh, kinds of products and the sum of uh, spending all these quantities of first resources uh, must be uh, less or equal available quantities which we have for example on our storage then we need to uh, to uh, add double it and do it the same for other resources so in the first uh, cells we put this kind of values should be less or equal the second our resources and we do again this kind of value should be less or equal the third kind of resources divide it again the next our resources should be less or equal available quantities of these resources and then the last one also less or equal our last um, uh, available quantity of last our resources good next what we have we also need to add our restriction by agreements mm -hmm. so for this reason we uh, need to uh, use this sign equal and for uh, all this kind of products which we have um, uh, into our agreements uh, with customer so what we need to put that our x2 so in this cell we will find our quantities so our x2 should be equal 200 of 2 double it uh, x3 again also should be equal 320 double it and we need to do for all our products which we use uh, in agreements with customer next mm -hmm. x7 should be equal of 153 next x8 also should be equal 127 next x10 should be equal 78 next x12 should be equal 183 next x13 should be equal 232 and 
x14 should be equal 89 and be careful with uh, all these values then x16 should be equal, equal to 90 and x17 should be equal 145 and now the last R restriction, it's about demand. And each Rx1 should be less or equal 6,000 kilograms. Each. So be accuracy when you will put this all uh, values into this form. And if we uh, all uh, correctly put into our this uh, parameters of solver, we can uh, clean this uh, this tips. Yes. Then uh, we uh, need uh. to use poise crescendo the Dutch simplex method. Поиск yeah. решения линейных за симплекс методом. And найти решение. And we waiting. О, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Окей. Okay. I find I need to produce this oh. kind of quantities of each uh, kind of uh, products and it uh, uh, give us the maximum profit which is equal this kind of value.